Let's first take a look at timesheets from the user's point of view. From the menu on the left, select timesheets. From the period drop-down, select the desired week. Now you can see the days, dates and options to log time against. The start, finish, breaks, and total hours displays. To enter the hours worked, simply click and capture the time. The icons will appear on the right and allow you to save or delete the changes made. When all required changes have been made, click Submit. A confirmation message will display with the total hours for the period, and, advise that you can still edit the timesheet until it has been approved. To continue, click Submit. To move to this next period, select the dates from the period drop-down. If you are logged in as the approver, the process is similar, with a few added features. On the left, you will find a list of the employees who use timesheets and you have the ability to enter the information on their behalf. Using the period drop-down on the top left, select the relevant week. Employees that have submitted a timesheet for approval will have a gold icon above their name. Click the employee's name. Here, you can choose to approve or decline their timesheet. You can also make adjustments to the hours if needed. If you decline the timesheet, you can make comments to indicate why it was declined and check the box to notify the employee. When approving, you can decide whether you want a notification email to be sent to the employee, then click Approve. The icon above the employee's name has changed to green to indicate that this has been approved. After approval, the decline button is still active. If you choose to decline it, be aware that it can cause problems if the timesheet has already been submitted to accountants. On the employee's dashboard, the clock time pulls through from the clock in widget. This appears on the dashboard and counts time worked from the time the clock in button is clicked, until clock out is clicked or the automatic clock out time has lapsed.